All right, so here we are. This is about an hour after the first video was recorded. Here's my parts GX200 clone. Uh, I've already robbed the carburetor and the air filter assembly off of this thing. And I've actually used the blower housing cover on the Honda engine as well. Here's the gas tank. I just took it off to clean it out. It's filled with uh, rusty, watery crap. So we clean that out, make sure there's no grime in the fuel system. There you can see my new black blower housing cover. Uh, doesn't look like a Honda anymore, but here's the old one. You can see it looked like uh, someone's pit bull just chewed on the side of this thing for a while. So it was actually gouging out the edges of the flywheel, which I actually have two spare flywheel uh, plastic fins, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Right here, you can see that it is in fact a genuine Honda 160. GX160, which means this is a 5.5 horsepower engine. Now the only one thing that's really got me truly concerned with this motor is the fact that someone went through and punched holes in the muffler. There's two on this side here. Can't really see them. There's one on the top. This is the one that bothers me. This mainly scares me because rain could fall down into this one top hole, fill this muffler with water, and seep down into the combustion chamber. Um, and just the water itself will rust your valves and stuff like that, probably your piston rings. Um, and if that water freezes, then you could potentially crack your block. So all these things are big no-nos to do to your muffler. Your muffler should always be vented in a way that water will not get in. Let's first start up of the five and a half horsepower Honda engine on this hundred dollar go-kart. I've got a zip tie on the spark plug wire so I can rip the spark plug off if I need to. I don't have the recoil on there yet, so I just got to use a piece of rope wrapped around the uh, starter cup, recoil cup. Um, Changed the oil, I flushed it with diesel, because it looked like chocolate milk. It's got a crappy muffler on it. It's up on a jack stand, so it won't run away if it does start. So, here goes. Kill switch actually works. Not bad for a first test drive. <laughs> 